to know certain terminologies in cardiophysiology. So it is not only important to know what is stroke volume, what is end diastolic volume, but we know we must know the all physiological variant which are controlling stroke volume, cardiac output and all the variables. Because in the exam, nowadays they are not going to ask you simply what is the definition. You must know physiologically what, what, are the, what are the parameters that are controlling those variables. So this topic is actually very conceptual. I'm telling you, this is one of the most conceptual topic. You need to understand with a great depth. So let us discuss number one, what is stroke volume? It's very simple. Although it is a conceptual, but these are very simple. Amount of blood ejected in one stroke. Amount of blood amount of blood ejected in one stroke is called as stroke volume and simply we can say it is end diastolic volume minus end systolic volume so end diastolic volume which is actually i will discuss in detail it is preload and diastolic volume is actually what preload it is amount of blood it is amount of blood you can say before contraction start it is amount of blood before contraction start or you can say amount of blood after diastole or relaxation complete relaxation total blood before contraction start it is preload it is preload so i hope you will not forget end diastolic volume what is end systolic volume okay end systolic volume it is the amount of blood remaining after contraction which remain after contraction now if contraction is more and systolic volume will be less yes or no if contraction is very slow okay and systolic volume will be more so lesser is the end systolic volume now this concept is very important this will help you a lot in so many understanding lesser is end systolic volume better better will be contractility this whole topic is actually concept based and lot of question can be solved so try to understand end systolic volume is the amount of blood after the contraction is over better is the contraction lesser amount of blood will left if full contraction 100 percent okay no blood will be left if 80 percent only 20 percent will be left so like that lesser is the end systolic volume better is the contractility or you can say better is the inotropic action it is called as inotropy increase inotropy or positive inotropy on the other hand more is the end systolic volume 